an officer shot while responding to a call. Prayers go out to the family. I hope he's okay. Police confirmed this is their suspect being led out of the police station. Good evening, I'm Eric Phillips. Just in the last 30 minutes, police released new information and identified that suspect as a 16 year old. They now say he was wearing a bulletproof vest when he shot the Cornelius police officer. We've had multiple crews pushing for answers since noon tonight. We have live team coverage from the Carolinas Medical Center all the way up to Cornelius. And we begin with Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Johnson breaking down that new information just released. Brittany. Well, Eric, police are now telling us it was Lieutenant James Quattlebaum who was shot just before noon. He was rushed to the hospital and they brought the suspect 16 year old Grayson Farrell here to the police department. Now we were here just outside the gate when police escorted Farrell, the 16 year old, to a patrol car. The shooting happened when police responded to a domestic disturbance call at a home on Coachman's Trace Drive. Now, we spoke with witnesses who say they saw the suspect hitting a car window and arguing with multiple people. When police arrived, they say Farrell started shooting at them. Lieutenant Quattlebaum was hit in the stomach and one officer fired back, hitting the suspect at least once. Police say the teenager was wearing a bulletproof vest and neighbors believe the argument that started it all began Friday. And they were arguing and screaming and carrying on since yesterday. And then this morning it all carried over. Now, police tell us they have responded to that home multiple times, but they would not confirm how many times or the nature of those calls. Now, Farrell was taken from here to Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Headquarters. We're told that department is going to take over the investigation since an officer from Cornelius fired back. Live from Cornelius, Brittany Johnson, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Brittany, thank you. Police also just released new information about the officer, Lieutenant James Quattlebaum. Our team coverage continues with Eyewitness News reporter Alexa Ashwell live at Carolina's Medical Center where he was taken. Alexa. Yes, Eric, just in the past 30 minutes, police said Lieutenant Quattlebaum is doing well and expected to make a full recovery. He was rushed here to uh, CMC Maine after he was shot in the stomach while responding to that disturbance. Uh, since then, there has been an overwhelming amount of thoughts and prayers uh, to that lieutenant on our uh, Facebook page and, and Twitter. Uh, this tweet in particular came from the Huntersville Fire Department. It offered their thoughts and prayers and said they visited CMC Maine to wish him well. Now, for the first time tonight, we're hearing from Lieutenant Quattlebaum. Police said he expressed his appreciation for all this support. And earlier today, the chief expressed that same gratitude, especially to officers from other jurisdictions who rushed to the scene to help him. People were all over it helping us, so it's great. Again, the lieutenant expected to make a full recovery. We, of course, will continue to follow this investigation as it develops. For now, live from CMC, Alexa Ashwell, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. As Alexa mentioned, there has been an outpouring of support for Lieutenant James Quattlebaum on social media. You can still leave your prayers and well wishes on the WSOC Facebook page.